guys, what up? It's Lizzie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Over the next few days, I am going to be doing a mid-year reset. Basically, I have a whole little list of mid-year reset items that I need to complete because I'm working towards my goals still. And even though we're halfway through the year and a lot of my goals are probably not even close, to be honest, um, I wanna take a deep dive into them, but also just look at some of my day-to-day -day things. Like I'm gonna start this vlog off by doing a much needed grocery run, so let's run to the grocery store. I need groceries so bad it is like, there's nothing. There's nothing. I'm just a condiments household right now. There's no food in there. Gotta bring the bags and it is like 90 degrees outside, so I need some water. I'm at the store and it's so busy. And I hate that for me. Alrighty, I am back from the store. I actually got a lot of groceries, so I'm gonna take you through what I got. Got some bananas, got some shredded lettuce, we have some wings, thighs, green onions. Next, I have some orange juice, honey bunches of oats, frozen fruit. I normally like to buy my frozen fruit at Costco, but I did not go to Costco. I have basil, this is for a, it's like the feta and roasted cherry tomato pasta dish. I made it last week for the first time and it was pretty good, so I wanted to have it again. I bought a squash and some ginger in here, two limes and a lemon. Limes are for one of the chicken dishes and then the lemon, I kind of want to have like lemon water or like try to start having it, like maybe at night or in the morning, I don't care when, but like, at some point, I got some more peanut butter. Peanut butter is so expensive. I think this was like $8. I have some cherry tomatoes. These are on the vine cherry tomatoes, so try that. I don't think these need to be refrigerated. I got some butter because we don't have any. Some cheeses. I kind of want to make like a chopped sandwich at some point, so I also got some salami. I got turkey. Um, coconut milk, and a block of feta for the feta pasta dish. I got two loaves of bread because it was buy one, get one free. Can you believe it? So I'm gonna freeze one. I got some tortillas, and then some iced tea, and some lime LaCroix. And that's everything I got from the store. All right, so the fridge is stocked. That feels good. I also got this little package in the mail. Um, this is like a sustainability subscription that my dad got me for my birthday. So it sends something every month for six months. I think this is the third one that I've gotten. And it's always a little surprise, it's fun. It's sunscreen, oh, that's awesome. I needed sunscreen. Oh, that's cool. It's a mineral face sunscreen. Ooh, I'm stoked about this. I have my laptop here and I wanna go through my notion with you guys because I did set a few goals at the beginning of the year and I wanna see where I'm at with things. I don't do like extensive goal setting every year and honestly, especially this year, I really took a step back from that and just, kind of did really realistic things. You know, I try to, you know, strive for all of my goals, but also life happens and sometimes things get kind of put on the back burner and it's good to have that little reminder for yourself. So let me just pull up my notion here. All right, so I pulled up my notion. Um, I do have a goals tab, so let's click on it. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have not set uh, monthly goals in a really long time and I still haven't dyed my hair. I've been meaning to dye it for like months now, but also I keep having second thoughts because I, I, I want to dye my hair black and I know that's like really bad to do, 
to do black box dye. So that's a whole internal dilemma that I'm having. Anyways, um, so I'm going to click on my long-term goals and let's see where I'm at. Okay. So, okay, actually, this one, I paid off one of my student loans last week, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and now I'm gonna say, so I have a couple different student loans. Unfortunately, your girl um, has some payments every month. Um, and soon I have to pay even more because I need to pay my government loans. These are private loans that I'm talking about. Yeah, so, I paid off my first student loan. Oh, wait, did I move that already? Why is that moving together? Okay, that one's completed. And I paid off my car this year too, which is very exciting. Um, I actually kind of stopped biting my nails recently. So they're growing, they look very cute. Um, so I'm gonna put that here. I don't have any plans to travel to Switzerland. I do not have 5K saved up in my emergency fund. I'm not really close to 10K subscribers, but I just hit 1,200 subscribers today, so that's pretty exciting. I'm hoping to get to 2,000 by the end of the year. I think that would be, you know, I'm gonna put that in progress because why not? Um, this keeps going back over here. Ah, what happened? hold on I'm having technical difficulties okay so yeah I think these are pretty good to be honest um you know and I actually did join a pottery studio um in a way I took a pottery class um I don't think I'm going to join a full-on studio um because that's another monthly payment that I just like I'm not quite ready for right now um, but I did take a class, so I'm gonna say that I accomplished that goal. I'm gonna add on here, read five books. I have read maybe, okay, let me rack my brain here. I've probably read about four or five books this year already. Um, so I'd like to read five more. I just started um, Red Rising. I'm excited about that one. Um, and I just finished Sid Arthur. So I've been reading like an okay amount. I'd like to be reading a little bit more, sure. Um, and then let's go to my vision board and just kind of check it out. Um, yes. I put like camping on here a lot, but funny enough, like, so I've gone camping a couple times um, and I've kind of realized like I'm not really a camping girly, but I love nature. I love being outside for the day, but I want to come home and do my skincare and sleep in my bed. So that's kind of come true. A little quote. I feel like I've been eating healthy, like pretty healthy. My skin has been pretty good. Um, I did figure out how to do my hair like this, so I'm excited. Um, I don't have a stack of cash this large yet, but you know, we're getting there. I met some new friends this year, I'm very happy to say. So um, this one and this one are kind of like friendship and I have been working out fairly consistently. So, you know, I am, I, I, this is still good, this is still good. I don't know if I'll hit 20K subscribers by the end of the year. Um, in fact, if you're not already subscribed to me, you better subscribe because help me out. This is on my goal list. Um, let me see if there's anything else that we can look at. You know, not really. So that's everything for my notion and my goals there. Let's take a look at my physical vision board. So I have this vision board on my notion, but I also have one downstairs in my office. So let's go for a little field trip, shall we? All right, here we are in this cute little corner of my office. Um, so this is my physical vision board. Can you see it? And I'll try to hold it up here. Um, I feel like I have done a lot of these things. So I did travel to New York, to Texas. This is also like not necessarily this year. This is kind of just like in general. I did buy a new camera, but this one also just kind of like reminds me to vlog. I have a little sticky note of goals up here and 
One of them was pay off my loan, so I X'd that out. The next one is um, get monetized on YouTube, build a second stream of income. So I'm working on it, you know, um, some fruit to eat healthy and just like some quotes. I also have uh, my subscriber count as 50K here because guys, we're gonna get there eventually. I have a good feeling. So this is just my vision board. I'm not really gonna update this much, but I just thought I'd show you guys for the video's sake. So it's dinner time and I am going to cook some feta cherry tomato pasta and that's like the sauce and then you put the pasta in. I've made this once before with a different recipe. I'm trying to look for the same recipe, but I can't find it. It doesn't really matter. It's pretty simple. So first I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. I have my things here, so you need cherry tomatoes. And then this tomato is special because we grew it in our garden. This is our first tomato, look at it. It's perfect and we grew it. This one is just more important than the rest of them. I have some basil here and then I have a block of feta cheese. I didn't know that they made feta in blocks until I learned about this recipe. I kind of forgot what I cooked it in last time. Okay, 400 degrees, 13 by nine, baking dish. I think I'm just gonna use this one. Is this too big? Um, it'll work. Right, so I'm gonna do the feta first. This is an eight ounce cube of feta. I don't know where this recipe came from. I think it's like a TikTok recipe. It was pretty good and it's just super easy. It's kind of like a bake it and forget it kind of recipe. And it goes in the middle as is tradition. I think I'm gonna like cut this in half. So I'm gonna hold on that for a minute. And then we're doing our tomatoes. They look really cute when they're on the vine like this. I feel like I should have used a smaller pan. You know, it doesn't matter though. Okay, let me chop her and wash her really quick. Oh my gosh, look at it. Can you guys believe it that I made something this beautiful? I'm talking about it like it's my child, but you know, I have no pets, so this is kind of the closest thing. And then next, I know I need some garlic. And yes, we are garlic fans in this household. Okay, so this needs to go in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. All right, you guys, the next item on the agenda is a little closet declutter. Now, I don't really hang on to things. I'm not super sentimental, so I just wanna go through a couple things to see if there's anything I can get rid of. Honestly, I'm not sure if there is. No, I never really wear this top, like never. I'm surprised, I actually found three things already that I never wear, haven't touched in years. Alrighty, um, I actually found a few things that were just sitting in there that I never wear. This shirt, this shirt, it had its moment and I love it. I, I love, actually I love this shirt still and maybe I shouldn't get rid of it but it doesn't really fit me very well. Like I have to wear it unbuttoned, otherwise it just like will pop open. So I'm gonna think about that. This t-shirt, I just, I never really, I never really wear it. Haven't worn it in a long time. Um, and then this dress, it's, it's pretty. Like it is pretty. It's just, it's not gonna get worn again. It probably won't, so. I'm happy with those items. I think that cleaning out your closet like periodically, even if it's just like really quickly just to look through um, and actually think like, hmm, have I worn this in six months, in a year, in two years, is really, really helpful to just like think about. I also have some laundry downstairs that I need to put away, which we hate. For the whole ride home Playing, making wishes It was all night long You told me you loved me And I sang this song I sang this song I had an old time so Top back, top back, top back. Rock dies if you go past, blonde hair. 
What up, homies? It is the next day. I'm continuing this vlog. I already had my coffee and breakfast this morning. I just made my bed. All right, guys, I actually need to re-up on a couple self-care items like shampoo, conditioner, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna run to Ulta and just pick up a few things that I need. excursion I didn't really mean to have such a little bougie day today but that's just how it went I got my nails done they're really short I also got my toes done and my toes look amazing you shouldn't see those for free to be honest but I bought a couple things as well I had some good luck at the shops um, starting off with this beautiful pillow for my couch to um, match this pillow that I bought recently. I just thought it was cute, so nice. And we kind of needed like a new pillow. And then I got some self-care items that I have run out of, including some toothpaste, gotta have toothpaste. I got a hair mask, the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Hair Mask. And I also got some mouth rinse um because i ran out gotta keep the breath clean and then i'm most excited about well i got i also got some travel size face wash because i'm going to alaska next week and it's always really hard for me to find face wash and then i got the verb ghost conditioner and Shampoo. I'm excited to try this. I am out of my shampoo and conditioner and these are definitely nicer shampoos than I normally buy. So hopefully they work well. And yeah, that's all that I got. I definitely spent a decent amount today doing my nails and my toes and buying all these little items. Treat yourself, you know, life is short, man. And money comes, money goes, but self-love stays forever. That's how I'm going to justify it today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the little mid-year reset vlog. I will see you guys in the next Three, video. Two, Bye. One. Arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Shine you like to put somebody else's happiness before your own I see the
You would finally know that you don't have to be somebody new Care about anything you used to care about when you want to smile, I'll be there. 